Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to talk to you about sleep. Just like your mother said. Well, maybe your mother didn't tell you that sleep was important, um, but it so is. And I don't know about where you live, but where I'm talking to you from, our California clinic in the heart of Silicon Valley, there's definitely uh, differing opinions about sleep, at least as far as people who work extremely hard in Silicon Valley. So uh, some of it is like, I just don't have time to sleep. Interesting. Or um, because of their job and they're working internationally, they'll literally uh, work nine to five or nine to six, come home, eat dinner, and then about uh, eight, you know, sit with the family, have dinner, put the kids to bed, and then get on the phone eight, nine o'clock at night for two, three hours, speaking to India, China, you know, where they're on in a completely different time zone, and an average five, maybe, you know, six hours of sleep a night, and. Uh, there is a sweet spot for sleep. There truly is, and it is eight hours. And you might be that person that says, you know, I'm fine with seven or I'm fine with six. But the truth of the matter is it's just not what the research says. So I'm gonna give you some data, and there's a lot of great books, but specifically this was Dr. Matthew Walker, who does a lot of research, and I'm just gonna give you some of, some of his data. Certainly we've seen this a lot, but, um, I believe he's British, very elo eloquent, um, and so I'm going to give you some of the data that, that he shared, and certainly we've seen this a great deal with patients. So he called sleep the Swiss Army knife, so that alludes to the fact that a Swiss Army knife does a lot of different things, right? Uh, if you have one of the big ones, it's like, boy, there's, there's nothing you can't handle with the right Swiss Army knife. So he calls it the Swiss Army knife sleep, the Swiss Army knife of health that no matter what the ailment, sleep helps. So I thought that was uh, very eloquently said and, and quite true. So um, sleep is your first line of defense by your immune system. So you might notice that if you get sick, you have a really bad cold or the flu, all you wanna do is sleep. And then actually your immune system comes out, the cells come out when you're sleeping. And so when you're sick, they're basically, you know, in, 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 they're inducing what he calls a somnogenic, meaning somna, somnolence, having to do with sleep, genic, the genesis of creating. So a somnogenic state, meaning you're sick and you want to sleep and, and you can lie down because you just feel awful and three hours can go by and you go like, wow, three hours. Um, but your body is inducing that because it knows how powerful sleep is. Very interesting. So then, um, it helps what happens when these cells come out. They're attacking bacteria, cancer cells, viruses. There's nothing that they, they can't handle when you allow them to. And again, sleep is that lever that opens the door and lets those immune cells come out. So they did a really interesting study. This was by Mike Irwin. So he took a group of young, healthy people for one night, one night alone, restricted their sleep to four hours for a single night, then measured their natural killer cells, which is very much your immune defense army, and um, measured them before, and then measured them the next day after the four hours. Their natural killer cells diminished 70, 70% just with one night. So really speaks to the power of lack of sleep. Uh, it was such, it's such that the World Health Organization has classified shift workers, so people who work throughout the night uh, as, let me make sure I'm stating this correctly, as any kind of shift work as a probable carcinogen. Now, if you were a shift worker and you uh, worked from midnight to 8 a.m. and then you came home and after a couple of hours, you know, you had your dinner and you went to sleep and you slept eight hours, that would be fine. It's just like you're in a different time zone. But shift workers don't do that because they wanna see their kids and they wanna see the family and et cetera, et cetera. And so they do these little cat naps, that's the problem. It's not so much you're working at night if you were, again, working at night and truly sleeping the day for solid eight hours, that wouldn't be a problem. But that's just not what shift workers do. Um, 
So you also, they found with less sleep, you get uh, more cytokines, which are an inflammatory chemical, and you'll be in more pain. And uh, Dr. Walker mentioned, which is a very, very interesting point, that in our hospitals, there's, there's like nowhere you'll get a worse night's sleep than if you're in the hospital. And here you are ill, often in pain, needing your immune system to really do a good job. And the lights are coming on and nurses are chronically waking you up. And it's just a terrible, a terrible environment for your immune system, a terrible environment for you to lessen pain. So just an aside, obviously, uh, for the average one of us, hopefully we're not spending too much time there, but if you ever have, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, he also mentioned that the shorter you sleep, the shorter your life, literally. The longer you sleep, that it, limited sleep predicts an increase in all-cause mortality, meaning you're going to die of every possible cause more often if you sleep less and less he said seven to eight hours. A lot of research I'm seeing is, is eight, again, is the sweet spot, but definitely six or less is that, that um, margin or that uh, indicator for really too little sleep and increasing all these negative things. Um, not enough sleep is a significant factor indicating your risk for Alzheimer's disease, whether it's in your family or not. Um, so he lastly, just to finish up, he said there's no physiological system in the human body that is not enhanced by sleep, meaning whether it's your gut, your brain, your liver, your kidneys, no system in your body isn't enhanced by sleep or isn't impaired with lack of sleep. So again, I just found him so eloquent that I, I wanted to quote him a bit. Um, but We've been kind of doing a deep dive into sleep recently. Uh, I, I'm, well, I'm actually uh, not guilty of, of not enough sleep because my body, I, I'm very um, sensitive to wanting to do what feels right and keeping my body functioning optimally. And I'm an eight hour girl. And if I get, you know, if I get less then the next day I want more and that's kind of it. So I don't cheat sleep because I can tell but I'm definitely one that wished I could and wish there was some way that my body needed less so that I'd have more time in the day. But the truth of the matter is it's not worth it, that your productivity, your health, your longevity truly is tied to these beautiful eight hours of sleep. And I have plenty of patients who come in and say, I get five to six, I can't get more, I don't have time. But what if you were sat down and told, you're gonna die sooner because you don't sleep eight hours. You're gonna be sicker because you don't sleep eight hours. Then what would your response be? And if it would still be, I don't care, I don't have time. Well, okay, you know, it's your life, it's your body, you get to decide. But I think it's important that we know this data. So I'll be probably talking a little bit more about this, but I really wanted to share the importance of sleep. And I wanted to end with, um, what we do here at the clinic because it's one thing knowing the value of sleep and allowing yourself enough time to sleep and then there's the other factor of my body's not sleeping I'm taking an hour to fall asleep at night or I fall asleep just fine and then I awaken and I'm up for an hour or two see that's different and that's where we're very good so you just not getting in bed long enough that's one thing but if you're allowing the time and your sleep quality is not the way it should be that's where we really shine in getting to the root of why that is. So if you're having trouble getting good quality sleep, please reach out. We are very good at that naturally, no drugs. Uh, so give me a call. The telephone number here is 408-733-0400. I'll talk to you soon.